So basically what we are going to be doing today with this little guy right here is we're going to be making him some lunch and taking him outside to play in the trees. So if you look down here, we have the basics. We have some Zupreme monkey biscuits and we have a leaf eater biscuits. We're actually gonna just cut this apple right in half right here and we're just gonna cut him one little slice. So there's a little bit of banana right there and you can see he closes his eyes when he eats. Their fur is as soft as you think it is. You can see that these guys are just incredible acrobats. Now he's going to swing fully from the branch. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, he's gotten high up in the tree and well, I don't know if we'll be able to get him down, but he's hanging from a thin branch right there, but. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Guys, for today's video, well, I'm here today with this little gorgeous little black and white rough lemur boy. We don't have a name for him yet, but we are babysitting him here at the house today. We have got a lot of fun activities planned today with this little boy right here. Now, what we don't have yet for him is a name though. So what I want you guys to do right now is go comment down below a name for this gorgeous little black and white rough lemur boy. Now, I'm sure all of you are wondering, what in the heck is a lemur? Is it a monkey? Well, no, it is not a monkey. Primates are classified into three different groups. You have persimians, which is the least advanced of all primates, and that is exactly what Rufus is. And then you have monkeys and apes. Monkeys would be like capuchin monkeys, squirrel monkeys, and then apes are basically chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans. So this little guy right here is a primate, but he is not a monkey. Oh my gosh, what are you doing, little guy? So basically what we are going to be doing today with this little guy right here is we are going to be making him some lunch and taking him out Outside to play in the trees well he seems a little bit rowdy and hungry so we're gonna go inside now and make him some lunch all right everyone we are here right now in the kitchen and it is time to prepare a lemur lunch Rufus is already investigating what we got going on here the different kinds of foods and bro look at him look at him he's being a bad boy he you, whoa you can't have that so if you look down here, we have the basics. We have some Zupreme monkey biscuits and we have leaf eater biscuits. Because in the wild, lemurs eat leaves, you know, we give them the leaf eater biscuits. We also have some carrots, we have zucchini, and we have banana and apple. This little guy right here is not a big fan of these leaf eater biscuits, so I actually mix it with banana, so he actually likes it a lot more. So before we even get started prepping the fruit, well, we actually are going to take all of our biscuits right here, we're gonna put them inside of here, and we're actually gonna get them under the water. By doing so, the biscuits are going to soften up, moisten up a bunch, and then once they're moistened, we're actually gonna mix the banana in with these large leaf eater biscuits. So what we have to do now is start the rest of our meal prep. This little guy here is getting a little bit antsy, so before we prep the vegetables, we're actually gonna just cut this apple right in half right here, and we're just gonna cut him one little slice, and we're just gonna hand off the slice. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh. So for him, this is actually the greatest thing in the world. We're just gonna give him this one little slice right here. He's gonna eat it up right there. And you can see he just eats so funny. So while he's distracted and eating, we're gonna actually start chopping our vegetables. So we're gonna start here with our carrots. So we're gonna have two carrots per bowl and we're just gonna chop them. Isn't that a good apple right there? So we gotta keep this little guy distracted because he's gonna wanna jump down. But as long as he's distracted and eating well, he's not going to, he's not gonna jump down at all. So now that we have our carrots chopped, we're gonna chop some apples. The apples is a good fruit for him to eat, but you know, you want it to be a well-balanced diet. Sometimes it's not even the variety that's good, it's well-balanced. You want them to have a balance between fruit, vegetables, and biscuits. So we have a nice little bit of carrots chopped up. We're gonna hand him one more. We're gonna hand him one more little apple right there just to keep him a little bit distracted. So we have our apples and our carrots chopped up. Now we're gonna start with squash. I always cut the first piece off toss it in the sink. We're probably gonna put about three slices of zucchini in there, and we're just gonna topple them up just like that, and we're gonna cut them three different ways and cut them in half. So we have a nice little mix right here. Now as we check our biscuits right here, you can see, look at that. The biscuits are nice and spongy. So we're just gonna take the biscuits, we're gonna drain them just like this. Now it's actually only these three biscuits that we're actually gonna mix with banana. So we're just gonna take this last little bit of banana, we're gonna pop it out, we're gonna give Mr. Little Monkey Man a little bit of snack right there, and we're gonna take this biscuit right here, and then we're going to, okay, you know what? We're just gonna let him do his thing, cause look at him. This is one little hungry little monkey boy. Yeah. As you can see right here, we have a nice little ball of banana and leaf eater biscuits. And this little guy right here is getting a little bit of antsy. So we're just gonna take our mix of vegetables and fruit and we're gonna toss it right in there right now. We've got a nice little mix going and we're just gonna let him go. Come on, go, 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 go. Of course he goes for the biggest piece right here. Man, dude, you can't, I don't think you can eat that whole thing. Look, how about that? That's a little bit better, huh? That's really good. What we're doing right here is we're actually giving this little guy right here something called free choice. We are letting him choose what he wants to eat and well, of course he's gonna go for the sweetest things first. So he's going to eat all of the apples 
and all of the other fruit first, and then later on in the afternoon when he gets hungry, he's gonna realize, well, there's no more sweet stuff here, so then that's when he'll really eat the carrots, the zucchini, and more of the biscuits. But isn't that some good stuff right there? Oh my gosh, that's the greatest little thing right there. That is just so delicious, boy. Here, why don't you have this right here, look at this. So this is a little bit of banana right there, and you can see, he closes his eyes when he eats. Eating for these guys is just, you know, one of the best things for them. They just absolutely love it. And he's just gonna go right there. He's gonna go for some more apples. And you know what I forgot? I forgot some grapes. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the fridge right now and get some grapes. Well, we could not find the grapes. I guess I used them all and I forgot. So we're gonna give him some blueberries. So we're just gonna take a nice little handful of blueberries. Now we feed all of our animals fresh, delicious produce. So I think a nice little handful of blueberries, just like that. Blueberries are actually really healthy for them. They're actually pretty low in sugar. So it's not a lot of sugar and they're full of great nutrients. So we're just gonna take these little blueberries. We're gonna rinse them off just to get any nastiness from the store off. And we're just gonna slide the blueberries in. He's just gonna go for each one. You want that one? Mr. Lemur Man, had just an absolutely amazing lunch. So what we're gonna do now is, well, we're gonna take this little lemur boy outside in the backyard. We're gonna have him climb some trees and burn off some of his food. This little boy right here just wants to be as close to me as he possibly can. He is so sweet and so adorable. He's just a loving little five-month-old baby lemur. Oh my gosh, what do you wanna do, man? So we have these palm trees here in my yard, and these are the palm trees that we're gonna let Rufus climb. So we're just gonna take him right here. He wants to go down on the floor, and we're just gonna kinda let him investigate. Primate are super inquisitive and want to investigate every little thing. Now we're gonna take him right here and we're just gonna show him this tree right here. Here you go, man. You wanna check this tree out? So he's gonna sniff every little bit of the tree and this little green stuff on the tree, those are actually called lichens. It's like a type of moss. But he's just going to investigate every little thing. So what I wanna do now is I actually wanna unclip him. We are in a very safe area right here where we don't have to worry about Rufus running away and he does not gonna run away as it is because he's a young primate. Here you go, little man. Here you go, little boy. So climb up the tree now. We're gonna put this little guy up on the tree. And again, guys, we do not have a name for him. So make sure you go right now and comment down below a name. He's just gonna investigate every little possible thing. He's gonna investigate every single little palm leaf. And he's going to just slowly make his way up to the top. Lemurs are actually one of my f most favorite primates. I mean, you can see just how gorgeous they are. And I'll tell you what, their fur is as soft as you think it is. I mean, it just feels like a down comforter. So incredibly soft. He's gonna try to eat the palm leaf. You know, for him, these are perfectly safe for him to chew on and munch on. They're not going to cause any sort of harm. Oh my goodness. You can see that these guys are just incredible acrobats. You can see he's using his back feet right here to grip on, and then now he's going to swing fully from the branch. This man right here is a serious comical character. Isn't that right, buddy? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, look at that. So much fun up here on the palm frond. Now, I'm not too worried. The palm frond is up there, and he's hanging good, but look at this. What a good boy right here, just hanging from the palm frond and eating leaves. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, he's gotten high up in the tree and well, I don't know if we'll be able to get him down, but he's up there. Oh my gosh, I, can't, I can barely even reach him. Come here, I can barely reach him. Oh, I just can touch him. I can barely, barely touch him. Guys, we may need to get some fruit and something to coax him down, but, but, but he's really up there. Guys, he's hanging from a thin branch right there, but, 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 but I think he knows what he's doing, I mean, I don't think he, he, he's that stuck. I mean, he, he's way up there. Like, I, this is as far as I can reach and I can't really get any closer. Rufus, are you gonna be okay? He's come down, he's come down, I've got you. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Okay, all right, we saved him from the tree. He was stuck up there for just a minute, guys. I'm so glad we were able to save this little black and white lemur from being stuck up in the tree. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's lemur play date. We had an absolute blast giving him some food and having him climb the trees. Unfortunately, he did get stuck for a little bit, but, you know, I wasn't too worried. I knew we'd be able to get him. You know, I knew it would just take a little bit of time. He wanted some free time up in the tree by himself, and that is absolutely all right. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you go comment down below a name for this little lemur boy. And, guys, if you are not subscribed already, you enjoy the content, you want to see more lemurs, tigers, lions, monkeys, turtles, and tortoises. Well, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell, and you will be notified whenever I post.